Hello everyone, I'm the Crow Bona Raider, and I appreciate the Woodhull Freedom Foundation working at the intersection of sexual rights and human rights. Sexual freedom, huh? Yeah, I'm free to have all kinds of sex. Growing up a pretty little white heterosexual girl with no sense of self, I had sex with everyone who would throw me a scrap of love. My experience was that as long as I was pleasing the guy, doing what I was supposed to do for him, I was accepted as normal, with a label, of course. I was free to have all kinds of sex with men that I could handle. What comes along with that freedom is a huge responsibility and associated social costs. My life as a free to have free sex girl shaped my beliefs around sex. Sex is not something that you could put into a neat little box and have everyone just accept it. It's time to evolve sex in the human race. And that includes allowing people with differences to live freely, without judgment, and no shame, and no guilt. Freedom, I'll tell you how to get in. So as you see me now, I'm a heterosexual, single, blue-eyed, blonde, triple D, all natural, educated, professional, white girl. When I was young, the word sex was a mystery to me. It was hidden, it was a secret, nobody talked about it. This secrecy caused my curiosity. So when I was 13, oh yeah, tab A and slot B. That's when I figured out instant gratification that made him happy. That was my reward, that was my pleasure. He got happy, I got bug bites, sticks in my ass, goop to my legs, and a label. I didn't even know I was supposed to have physical pleasure. <laughs> that sexual freedom and that label followed me for over 40 years. Wherever I went, Whatever job I had, whenever they were men around, they thought I was free to have sex with them. And the women, they wanted me out of their space because they were insecure about my looks and my label and their own sexual insecurity. They were jealous of my sexual freedom. The key to having sexual freedom is to provide in-depth, across the sexual preference spectrum education with no shame and no guilt. All of the emotional, religious, and political anchors attached to the genitals needs to disappear for this evolution to happen to keep everyone safe and allow choice without judgment and discrimination. Real sex education builds real sexual freedom and it needs to start really, really early. Sexual freedom is much more than tab A into slot B. And it's about time for sex conversations to evolve further than these genitals go with these genitals. And then you do this with these genitals and that qualifies you to be an acceptable part of society. Stay in the box or go away so we don't have to see you. Is there a block around here? Evolve the educated discussions about sex to talk about the importance of orgasms, especially for women. Some people think that to have sex automatically leads to an orgasm. Well, that may be automatic for guys, not so much for women. Plus, there are plenty of benefits to orgasms that need to be brought into the education. And for the majority of women, penis-centered sex does not equate to orgasm freedom. It took me to the age of 32 to have my first orgasm, and that was with just me and my hand. The education for girls is to learn that they have a clitoris and that it is for their pure pleasure, and it should be incorporated into the education. Tell them how their mind and their body are connected for orgasms. Oh yeah, one other thing about me, I'm 57 years old. They say I should be invisible by now. They say I should be put on pasture. They say a woman my age doesn't have, shouldn't have, any sexual desire. So here's what I learned about sexual freedom. It's never free. There's always a give and a take. And now I'm free to have my orgasms anytime, anyplace. So whether you're a solo sexual, bisexual, trisexual, hoop bone sexual, whatever combination of consensual genitals you can come up with, be free to explore, expand, and enjoy. Always with no shame and no guilt. Always with orgasm equality. Orgasm equality. Yeah, now that's real sexual freedom. Get your bone on now. I'm going to.